Hey dudes, welcome to another episode of Kurt's Stuff. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. I'm really excited, it's kind of weird. Um, instead of doing a bunch of stuff or talking about my collections today, we're talking about something, just one item that's new that I bought recently, um, Candyland. Um, Candyland is one of the best board games ever. It's so much fun. I loved it when I was a kid. I even like it as an adult. Um, it's just fun, and the art is cool, and it takes like 10 minutes to play a round of it, so you can just, you know, whip out a game real quick and just get it over with and go right back to what you were doing. I used to play it in college all the time, and I played it when I was a kid. So I just have so many good memories of Candyland, and, uh, I've always, been, I've always wanted to buy it again, but I just never do, and then every Christmas it's super cheap, and I say, I'm gonna buy that, and then I don't, but this year, I said, enough's enough, they had Candyland for, like, five bucks down to the Walmart, so I picked it up, and I, I haven't opened it, really, because I haven't had anyone to play with, um, everybody thinks that everybody in Conquer Kingdoms is, like, best friends with each other, that's not even true, those guys hate me, and I don't even really like them much. Uh, when we're not working on stuff, like, we don't even hang out. So, I never have anybody to play with. Um, so, but now when we do dude food and stuff, Jay comes over, he's my new crew member, and he helps. And uh, So we have a lot of downtime while we're waiting for food to cook. We can't film anything because the food's just cooking. So, um, I wanted to break out Candyland so we could open it up, check it out, and we'll play a game. And, uh, you know, you can... You can see how it goes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I think we're going to try, uh, for the first ever second angle on Kurt's stuff, we're going to bring the camera around for you know so you can kind of open it with me and we'll check it out together. All right, so here we go. Uh, the first thing you'll notice, the first thing that I noticed, I haven't played a new version of Candyland in many years. We had an old version that we just played for a long time. But the box is much smaller. That was the first thing I noticed. Um, I know some board games now... You know, instead of just being one fold, they fold over again, so that must be what they've done, but, you know, so, I mean, that's whatever, it's okay, um, they've really updated the art here, um, I'm trying to remember these, uh, ladies' names, I, I keep thinking of Adventure Time, I wanted to call her Princess Bubblegum, but I'm pretty sure that's not it, um, we have, uh, the Candy Kingdom over here, and that dude looks like a little whooper, I don't know if you guys have ever played Pokemon, but that looks like whooper, um, this is kind of weird. I don't know if any... It says made in the USA with US and imported parts. I don't really know what that means, but whatever. Let's open it up. Alright, so well, this looks not like I expected it to. Um, uh, you know, when I used to play it was, you know, well, you take, you know, you the little kids and you... You're all racing the candy mountain so you can, you know, eat a giant pile of candy. And I always used to just picture, you know, me being, you know, running towards this big mountain of candy and eating as much as I want. It was a lot of fun. Um, so let's just, yeah, see what we got. Well, the characters look kind of weird. They don't really look like kids. Um, what? Tell me that's not the characters. Ah, oh, you're not even a kid anymore. I guess you're not allowed to eat candy anymore. You'll get fat and too many obese people in America ruin that. Look at that. That is disgusting. He's like a little crying marshmallow. Everybody's crying. I don't know what these giant watery eyes are. God. Oh, my God. I don't think there's any. There are no cards in here. That was like the best part about Candyland. You, you know, you draw the card and it tells you how far to go. Look at this ridiculous. There must be like a spinner that you have to put together. That's lame. Oh, that is just not fun to me. And then I guess you have to land on the special people. I guess they. It's, I thought there were more, but well, I guess I guess I just don't remember. Um. Well, here's the board. I guess we'll uh, you know, fold it open, see what it's all about. Oh, jeez, that's an ex. Explosion of color. That is not what I remember. This doesn't even look like Candyland. This looks like... Oh, God. You know what that means? The made in the USA with imported parts. This seriously looks like somebody in America called somebody that works in Japan and tried to explain what Candyland was to a, a person who had never heard about it. And I'm assuming, like, one of them didn't speak the other one's language very well, like, just enough to get the idea... Because this looks like a terrifying American anime cover. Oh, dude, look at Mr. Min. That is... That is a bummer. 
That is not the Mr. Mint from my childhood. That is kind of sad. Um, I mean, you, you still got all that. They moved some stuff, I see. You got the Ice Princess, or whatever her name is. And the they put the lollipop girl over here. Oh, dude. Look at Grandma Nut. That is the saddest thing I've ever seen. She used to be a sweet old lady that made you toffee on your way to Candy Kingdom. And now she's this weird... I don't even know what to call that thing. She's got a squirrel on her hair, guys. That's not good. She is... She has lost it. And she's hanging out with her weird little friend here. Ah, oh, Circus Peanuts. That's by far the worst candy of all time. That's disgusting. Um, I want to... Oh, dude. They got rid of Plumpy. They got rid of Plumpy. I don't even... This is this is not Candyland if it's not Plumpy. How do you even play Candyland? What's going to happen when you get all the way up here and then you draw Plumpy and you have to go back to the beginning? That is an important lesson. That teaches you about failure and not being a cocky dick because you think you're going to win and then you get sent back to the beginning and you're a loser. That is one of the most important lessons you can teach a child and they've taken that away from us. My god. I don't even know what to say about this. Ah. Oh. I well let's look at the instructions or something. I just Oh, I don't even know. So, yeah, I mean, as we saw before, you put the weird little sticker people on, and you're not even a kid, because you can't be a kid racing the candy mountain. Why would a kid want to have a mountain of candy? You spin the wheel. Special rules for younger players. If the spinner lands on a picture space that's behind you on the path, don't move backwards and spin again. Spin again? First of all, they took Plumpy out, and then they don't even make you move backwards? This is not the candy land that I know and love. I don't even... Oh my god. This is... How are you ever going to lose? How are you going to learn what it's like to lose and not win? Everybody wins in candy land. Oh, you get to the candy mountain and you just share it with all your friends. Because every... You don't need a whole mountain of candy. You're but one child. Oh my... We're done. I'm not playing this. So we were invited to a bitchin' space party. I couldn't count how many space bitches were in attendance, because there were so many. There were at least...